Oh, howdy everyone. It's me once again, the one and only Kimberdan. And today I'm going to be reviewing another film from my to do list. Oh boy, this seems to go on forever. Anyway, the film I'm going to be reviewing is the one titled The Man Who Cheated on Himself. So, it's again another movie from this packet, the Nifty 50s, from this 50 movie pack. So, I figured I'd review another one from this packet since, you know, I've been reviewing quite a few of these anyway, so I just thought, why not? So anyway, as always, I do have a top of the plot of this film. So let's get into it, shall we? Yes, sorry, folks. Gotta talk about the, the fucking plot as usual. Mm-hmm. Yeah, folks, this film starts off in a pretty exciting way. And that's a good start for the film. So the film does focus on this woman. This woman is, let's say, pretty wealthy. And she's divorcing her, her husband, Howard. And she finds a gun that he bought. She kills him with it in front of a new man in her life. So like any other genre, lighting is very important, especially in these types of movies, folks. Homicide detective, so that's when he comes into play, yes sir. Things do become rather interesting right from the very beginning, which of course is definitely a good thing. This detective character is actually with the San Francisco police, of course. So, let's just say things do become rather interesting as this film progresses. This is a detective film noir. With the restrictive budget, folks, I can say that the set design on this film is actually quite good, so that's a good sign there. I do have quite a few of uh, film noir movies on this list, but I haven't been reviewing that many as of lately. Which is disappointing because I actually do like these kinds of movies as well. I better get on that. Kind of a movie. As I said previously when I reviewed one of these movies from this packet, this packet is not specific on genre. You're quite literally just picking at random whenever you select this, of course. So anyway, I didn't mind really. And I had some. I had to review something from this list again anyway, so it didn't bother me that much really. So I was like, whatever about it. If you are a fan of this genre, I would definitely say check this movie out. Well, it is better better than some of the bullshit that's coming up nowadays. Like that old saying goes, folks, they don't make them like they used to, especially in the detective genre. There you go. They try to recapture that spirit, but it really doesn't work. Oh, hell yeah, folks. I used to watch these types of movies. A lot of them when I was much younger. Yes, sir. Is this a good movie? Yes, it is. I thought it was quite good, honestly. So, this is definitely one I would recommend. I have to say, I did like the acting. The acting, for the most part, was pretty good. It was really solid. Especially from the actress uh, that plays the wife. She does a pretty solid job. I would say that because even though this is a low budget feature, the acting was quite good. And yes, it's quite in some ways obscured, of course. But yeah, what do you know? Killer Rodan, the secret agent, is reviewing another old, cheaply made obscured film, yes sir. So anyway folks, I'll say that this one is definitely worth the watch, of course. The scene for this film was actually quite good. The overall story is, is really well put together. May not be all that high, but that's fine by me because they had 
very little to work with, so they were trying to do the most with what they had, of course, which is fine. And I like the fact that it's in black and white. This is a detective movie, like I said before, it's a film noir, which is fine because I haven't reviewed a film noir film in a while. I've reviewed a detective type of movie in quite a while. These types of movies were quite popular around this time period. So they made a truck ton of these movies way back in the day. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I remember going in the movie theater and actually watching these types of movies, folks. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm over 100 years old. I, I remember this kind of thing. Yeah. I remember that back in the day. I'm over 100. I don't look my age, I know that, but I did meet a lots of interesting people, I should say, way back when. Yeah, you meet interesting people when you go out in the movie theaters and whatnot. Yeah, those were the days. Those were definitely the days. Anyway, getting, looking, losing track here a little bit. Losing track. So, like I was saying, this is definitely not a bad film. I quite enjoyed it. I, I, I really do like detective film noir movies, folks. I really do like these types of films. The wardrobes in this film did look rather stylish, and that's a plus in my book. Yeah, they were quite popular back in the day. I never used to watch these back to back, folks, when they were released. So this was another like another way of for me anyway, for me, it's like a revisit of the past. Like a time capsule, so to speak. So, watching this definitely brought back lots of memories from way back when, when I was much younger, I should say. That's definitely true there, folks. Yeah, brings back a lot of memories. So anyway, I would say, check this film out, folks. You'll get an overall rating of a 7.8 out of 10. It gets a 7.8 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. Oh yeah.